What's up guys, VB Stein here with another video and today I'm going to be talking about the X2, the new SUV from BMW, which is currently being shown at the Paris Motor Show. And this is just a random thoughts video and what we kind of know and what we expect. Uh, we expect it to be released in 2018. It's going to share a lot of parts with the X1, including the interior and engines. And that the outside is post, supposed to be a bit more um, uh, sporty and practical with a low slung roof, apparently. Um, the prices apparently go range from 27000 for the base model all the way up to £40,000 for all the bells and whistles and whatnot. Um, what do I think about this? I think it's another compromise, I suppose. Because the way I look at the X series is you want the X5 and 6, really. Um, the X5 is probably the most practical. The X6 is the most, um, most stylish, I suppose you'd say. And if the if thing else is kind of a compromise, like you buy an X3 because you really can't afford an X5. You buy the X4 because you can't afford the X6. Uh, and whatnot, and the X1, I don't even know what the point of the X1 is. If you can't afford the X3, then you shouldn't be buying it, probably. And I know that may sound a bit harsh, but it just seems like another compromise. Like, I get why you have the 1 series. I even get why you have the 2 series, the 3 and the 4, because it's just an easy way to distinguish the hatchbacks from the, um, from the saloons. But with these cars, it just seems like as if, ah, you can't afford an X5, Buy the X4. Can't afford the X4. Buy the X3. Can't afford the X3. Buy the X2. Can't afford the X2. Buy the X1. If you can't afford the X1, buy a Vauxhall. <laughs> That's just how it feels with that. And I just think it's kind of, I don't want to say it's pointless, but it just feels like as if they're going, we kind of have this gap in our product range. Let's fill it with something. That's how it kind of feels. Um, I personally would say this car's a bit pointless and I just don't think it's worth all the hype it's probably going to get into the future. People go, I've bought an X2, I mean, I just don't get it. Anyway, um, tell me guys, what do you think about the X2? Do you think it's going to be a good car? Do you think it's going to be a, a big success for BMW? Let me know inside the comments down here. And if you haven't done so already, please click the thumbs up or the thumbs down, depending on your point of view of this video. And please subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching.